I can recall my first time booting up Fallout 3 and walking out of the vault and into the wasteland without any real clue of where to go. The sense of discovery and exploration that that game provided is something that sticks out with me even today. Since then, I've been waiting for a game to provide a similar experience on current generation hardware, but nothing ever seems to come close. Now, enter developer Obsidian Entertainment and their newest game, which has seemingly blown all my expectations out of the water to be a game that has me eager to explore it again. This is Noisy Pixel's preview for The Outer Worlds. Just where do you think you're sneaking to? Production line is that away, you worthless gad about. Unless your mom's on his deathbed, you ain't got an approved excuse. That's what I thought. But shoot, it's your neck on the line, so go for it, I guess. Landing on the planet of Monarch, I was given a choice between whether to head into a town or just adventure around. Being the explorer that I am, I turned away from the town and headed out into the unknown. After a few twists and turns, I found a merchant in need of help to take out some enemies so he could deliver some goods. After completing the quest, he allowed me to purchase items and weapons from him, and we created a friendly relationship. Now, this is just one instance of something that didn't have to happen, but it did. However, this doesn't really encompass what makes the outer world so great. It's heading into the town where my time with the game started to change. Learning about the town and the people while finding my way to a few side missions felt like I was creating my own story. The way the game flowed felt so natural as if the team had written the game to be a linear experience, but it was all based on my actions. Taking a quest to infiltrate a base offered me a few different options to get to the target. I want that forest factory. Owner dead or alive. And you're the soon to be handsomely paid son of a bitch who's gonna get it for me. However, given that I didn't really know who to trust, I went a peaceful route in hopes to maybe get some more information about the person I was supposed to kill. Well, it just so happens that while I could befriend this person, I ended up not liking him, so I killed him. It's actions like these that made this playthrough my own. I'll have to live with the choices that I made and I felt like my choices affected the story overall. This also happens to affect my relationships with the other NPCs in the town. For example, completing the quest allowed me to get my own room. Combat in the game felt good and it's nothing close to the hoops I had to jump through to shoot something in other titles. Weapons felt powerful and require maintenance to get the most out of their various effects. I'd also like to point out the relationship with the AI companions. These aren't just empty shell companions. They have goals and opinions on your actions and react to statements during dialogue. Is he looking at me? Oh law. He is absolutely giving me the complete creeps. After playing The Outer Worlds for three hours, I felt the sense of wonder that I've been looking for in a narrative-driven RPG. The game offers so much in terms of places to go and things to see that I just want to dive into this world and get to know everything I can about it. While there is still much to see in terms of how the main story of the game rolls out, if it's anything like the small chunk of the game that I experienced, then, well, we are in for a grand adventure. The Outer Worlds is coming to PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC on October 25th with a Nintendo Switch release later down the line.